Hi all, um, we have a, a, a unique case, not necessarily unique, but we, we do see this unfortunately every day. And the first thing is that females delay their childbearing, which is basically exactly how we live today. Um, we are not made to start our families at 22 or 23 and finish them by 24 or 25. Today one only tends to start in mid-30s and late 30s and even early 40s and females do not understand that unfortunately they're born with all the eggs and every month they're losing thousands of eggs and so what is happening is the egg store depletes and one of the most significant uh, illnesses that we deal with today is obesity which unfortunately when we have to deal with patients who have very high body mass indexes and that is an equation where you take um, the weight and you divide the height squared into the weight and uh, we want that BMI to preferably be under 30 and probably if we're going between 30 and, 40, uh, 30 and 35 we'll still consider to treat the patient. A big problem is we have a patient who has a bit of a double-edged sword here. She's nearly 35, her egg reserve is quite low and unfortunately her body mass is quite high and her BMI comes out at almost 47. So in order to get your BMI from 47 to below 35, one has to lose a lot of weight. And here we are talking 20 to 30 kilograms. And the one problem for us when we are dealing with having to, with IVF, stimulate the female so that we can get her to grow quite a few eggs, provided her egg reserve is still uh, within a certain level, um, we're trying to get somewhere between 8 and 15 eggs which would be okay for us to hopefully then achieve a pregnancy but today what we're realizing is is when your weight is is relatively high and your BMI is up at that level it's not that easy to get the patients pregnant we sit with two issues one we need to get the weight down number two if your egg reserve is very low we don't have that much time to get the weight down and the next problem is is that when your weight is up we have to use more medication in order for us to get the ovaries to respond appropriately because when we inject you either in your tummy or in your leg or in your bottom that drug has to travel through your whole body before it actually gets to your ovary and then do the work for us so at the end of the day we stuck with the fact that number one at a body mass index of 47 it is not safe to get the patient pregnant because firstly when we have that body mass the background miscarriage rates are very high the uh, ability to unfortunately escape blood pressure problems in pregnancy and diabetes in pregnancy. So at the end of the day, it's not advisable. And sometimes we may even end up uh, losing the patient's life because the patient is now pregnant. And when you are pregnant, you're gonna pick up another 20 to 30 kilograms before you actually have the baby. So in this specific case, the issue for us is stimulate get the eggs out now while we can still be successful to get the patient to respond make the embryos and put the embryos in the freezer and then once those embryos in the, in the freezer there is no shelf life to frozen embryos which then allows the patient to take six months or a year off and go and lose the appropriate amount of weight before we then put embryos back in and achieve a pregnancy. So today, that's one of the big advantages that we have. We can actually separate out the stimulation from doing a transfer. And it would be ill-advised for us in this case to make embryos and do a fresh transfer and get this patient pregnant. So it really makes sense that because we are running out of an egg reserve, that the longer we wait for the patient to lose weight, the more time that we actually lose out on, the less appropriate it will be for this patient and the less chance we'll have of being able to get a number of eggs from her and therefore get decent embryos that once frozen gives us that time for her to then lose the weight that she needs to lose and then we can safely put embryos back and get her pregnant. 
I hope this helps to understand why this patient has the kind of problem that she has right now. Thank you.